With the current technology, we are able to call, chat or make video calls to keep in touch with anyone. But now, with this upcoming technology, we can appear directly in front of the other person through hologram like we have seen in science fiction movies. This will be a whole new digital world with all the touch screens that we exist now can be turned into holograms taking you to the next phase of the internet. Like now, when we are bored, we hop onto social media. In future, we'll take a stroll into this virtual world for a while. The name of this technology is Metaverse. It's the most heard names in recent times. Meta. Well, we've been talking a lot about the Metaverse and what- What could possibly be in a Metaverse? We're speaking through the Metaverse. A Metaverse, the Metaverse. Metaverse. The Metaverse. The Metaverse. The current internet is two-dimensional, while Metaverse is three-dimensional. What exactly is Metaverse? How this world is going to be transformed? What changes are we expecting? Let's learn about Metaverse completely in this video. I'll give you one good reason to watch this video completely. I strongly believe time is money and we have to spend both wisely. I promise that your next few minutes will be a great investment for your knowledge. Because this video is a summary of many hours of research. Metaverse, in which meta means beyond in Greek language, whereas verse means universe. This means that Metaverse is a universe beyond the existing one. The term Metaverse was first used in 1992 in a science fiction book called Snow Crash. This Metaverse is the future of the internet, as well as a shared online space. This Metaverse is a combination of three technologies, Web 3.0, Virtual Reality, and Blockchain. Let's understand Web 3.0. It is nothing but the next version of the internet. The internet we are using right now is Web 2.0. The earliest version of the internet was Web 1.0, where the first website was created. The early internet was mostly composed of web pages with some texts and links. It does not include user engagement or content creation. So Web 1.0 is all about just showcasing the piece of the information on the websites. Coming to Web 2.0, which we are currently using, is all dependent on the community where we can participate. We can create content through social media, blogs, videos, and the other users interact by liking, commenting, and sharing. If there is something that we can buy in this Web 2.0 that is a domain name. For example, we have a domain name called Facebook.com. It is like an address to the Facebook on the internet. No one else in the world can create or buy a domain called Facebook.com again. Now coming to Web 3.0, which is focused on decentralization in which we can sell everything that belongs to us or that we have created on the internet. We have full rights over what we sell and no one can copy it. The trade of selling and buying happens in the form of NFTs, which means non-fungible tokens that are based on blockchain technology. It can technically contain anything digital, including drawings, animation GIFs, songs, or items in video games. I will make another video on NFTs and we will talk more about it. And as for the metaverse, as we discussed before, it's a digital world. To understand it better, in some video games we see trees, buildings, people, cars, similar to real world. Metaverse is a similar. In games, there are characters related to the game, but in metaverse, we can enter into this virtual world. Now, if we need any information on the internet, we can just google it and get all the information onto the screen, but in metaverse, we can actually enter into it and get a feel of living experience. For example, during the lockdown, we used to make video calls to stay in touch with our distant family members. This is 2D. Just looking at the screen does not give a very close feeling. But in Metaverse, we can actually meet, talk, play and spend time with them in the virtual world. During the pandemic, many people were working from home and children were learning through online classes. We realized the scope of Metaverse and all big tech giants opened their doors to this technology. In particular, in 2021, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg announced that the Facebook will enter into Metaverse technology and change the name of the company from Facebook to Meta. In coming five years, it will completely transform from social media to Metaverse. Although many companies are competing in this Metaverse field, Facebook is ahead of the rest. This metaverse has a digital version of us, which means that in this virtual world, we have a form called avatar. We upload our profile picture in Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, but since metaverse is 3D, 
we have to create an avatar in which we get to choose our dress. There will be stores in this virtual world like retail stores and malls we have in real world. All of these purchases are done through cryptocurrency. This avatar mimics our hand movements, our body language like we act in real world. To get started we need a VR headset which shows the world around us in 3D and there will be an optic suit which makes us feel the surrounding environment. For example, if it's raining in Metaverse, this suit will make you feel like raindrops on your seat. If someone touches us in the virtual world, we can feel that too. Let's suppose we are playing a boxing game in Metaverse. If the other person punches us in the stomach, this suit will make us to feel the punch in exactly the same spot. This Metaverse is the same as in the outside world. We can meet all friends from anywhere in the world. We can work together, learn, play, go to the club and dance, attend events and shop. But to do all these, we need infrastructure, right? That is why many companies have already started selling lands in this metaverse which can be purchased and developed to lease out or rent out to shops. If you are thinking it's crazy and weird to buy places in completely imaginary digital world that doesn't exist in reality, Many companies are already spending millions of dollars to acquire these digital properties. Recently, a company called Republic Realm bought land in Metaverse and developed real estate for $4.3 million, developing amusement parks, casinos, museums, and hotels. Those who want to go to these places will be charged a certain amount. Some fashion brands have already opened up stores in this Metaverse. Like while playing a video game, we buy weapons and fuel for extra power, we have to buy things like dress, shoes, etc. when we are in this metaverse. If you are wondering who actually spends money on these virtual items, well let me tell you this, people who play games now spend 100 billion a year on virtual goods like weapons, fuel, vehicles. This tells us people are not going to hesitate to spend in metaverse as well. A digital currency company called Grayscale Investments estimates that the market value of goods and services in Metaverse will reach $1 trillion. Companies who are investing now on this technology are planning to gain actual profits by selling digital items and playing ads on Metaverse. That's why not just Facebook but other big tech companies are competing to capture this Metaverse market. Microsoft is stepping into this field by name Microsoft Mesh and companies like Apple, Roblox and Epic Games are spending billions of dollars. All of these companies are trying to make Metaverse world more attractive by making the size of larger headsets smaller and more efficient. If you look at the advantage of this Metaverse, this is definitely useful to those who want to feel like they are being met directly rather than just a video call. To those who want to attend any of our friends important office meetings, concerts, games which they cannot attend in real world. Participating in group yoga or workouts with a virtual instructor, exploring your favorite places in the world at the comfort of your home. If you are wondering if anyone actually spends their time in this virtual world, just think of how many hours we are spending in social media, getting addicted to so many platforms. So it is undeniable fact that there is a risk that people might spend even more time if they are given a chance to live in another world meeting new people, going to desired places, playing games and live a complete different life. Now what about privacy issues? How safe is our data? What about the rules and regulations in this virtual world? These are unanswered questions as of now. All that being said, now it all may seem like a science fiction movie, but 30 years ago the technology we are using today might have seemed the same, but it has come true today. What are your thoughts on this technology? Please share it in the comment section. Ok friends, if you have liked this video, please do like and share it to your dear ones. And please subscribe to my channel, ask me why, for more upcoming interesting videos. Thank you.